from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Believe it or not, falling trees can be really, really dangerous in a windstorm. And today that happened. A gathering place, a tree fell down, or at least a branch broke off, and it did injure one person that was out at gathering place. So it can happen. We've had multiple trees go down across northeast Oklahoma because we've had wind gusts of anywhere from 50 to 65 miles an hour. So if you have even a dead branch or something like that, it can fall off of a tree. So just be aware of that. And we've had multiple ones fall on power lines, knock out power as well. All right, this is a massive, massive storm system and as the circulation feature now is across portions of Nebraska and so you can kind of see where precipitation is across Kansas not much mostly dust and then the snow is wrapping around we have blizzard conditions from Sioux Falls South Dakota further north and these are tornado watches unfortunately we had an active tornado that went right through Little Rock as we mentioned and uh, there's been hundreds of injuries from that coming right through it was going at about 60 65 miles an hour and so we have to be prepared for that we had our uh, tornado special and severe weather special last Last night but this is still active and you'll see how these tornado watches continue to go and to be advanced to the east with time tonight so then there's a new one uh, just issued there all right so that gives you the big picture in our picture right now it's been winds and dry and warm and so you see JD up to the north and Bob and then John and Brandon and Sequoia we're across the area at this time JD's up to the north at this point we've had multiple fires wrong along the Kansas line and into Kansas but JD right now uh, is in an area near Sunset Boulevard looks like hey JD quick update from you what do you have yeah, that's right. I'm just west of Dewey here, and uh, there's quite a few homes in this area, but just to the west here is all rangeland. It's kind of hilly and rough terrain. There's a fire going on in there. I don't know if you guys can see the direct fire itself, but it's only about 300, 400 yards away from me, and it's working its way down the valley, and in the bottom of this valley is a home. Uh, firefighters had to leave and go to a, a fire where it was uh, closer to houses, and these homeowners were notified to call back and let them know when the fire gets closer this thing's rushing in the wind's gusting you know 45 50 miles an hour and this thing's getting with it we're going to keep watching and hopefully this house makes it through the fire trash hey Thank man you. all right thanks jd bob's a little bit further south bob quick update from you from out of uh, south side of uh, bartlesville yeah we still have this uh, fire burning up here near circle mountain uh, it's still moving kind of to an easterly, northeasterly direction, and the fire units are moving along with them. Back to you, Trevor. All right, thanks again. I appreciate it very much. So these are the ones that we're watching very closely, and uh, John is on the west side of town near Cleveland uh, with a chance of a, maybe a fire kind of getting going there. Brandon, as we've said, has been across areas of northern uh, Creek County. Uh, we don't have his video right now, but he's repositioning at this point for that fire that's in that location. So that's what we have going on right at the moment. So what else is going to happen? Well, the winds are going to die down. That's the good news because it has been a wicked afternoon of wind across the region. We're still getting winds of 29 gusting to 40 miles an hour. That seems calm compared to where we were just a couple hours ago. 12% humidity. Air is bone dry, so it's not a good situation. Power outages, at least that's going down a little bit. It was 10,000 just a little bit ago. 9,500 customers without power in Tulsa. Still hanging on. There's, a, there's power scattered power outages across a big chunk of the area. A lot of trees have fallen on power lines, as I mentioned and power poles have gone down that goes all the way down to Shakota as far as temperatures right now we're in the 70s we will drop down to turn kind of chilly later tonight uh, the winds are still strong out to the west in 60s and as the winds die down that'll be welcome but temperatures will be in the 40s as you look at tomorrow morning as we go through tomorrow afternoon for our Saturday afternoon looks good light wind sunshine don't be deceived because even though it's cool sun is powerful this time of year as we start to get ready to enter into uh, basically April uh, and we're going to go out kind of like a lion 40s in the morning on Sunday one to point out now there are a few showers that are possible mainly I-40 south with thunder for us maybe a passing sprinkle and 40s expected and then on Monday get ready temperatures will be in the 80s and Tuesday in the 80s as well so a lot of wind with those as well could be some more fire danger days all right tonight temperatures are going to fall off we will be breezy still but at least the winds are way down 40s by morning it'll be chilly and then the winds die down totally and turning out to be a pretty awesome day in fact temperatures will be running from the 60s to 70s to 80s as we go through the next four days we get knocked down and just in time for uh, easter we could be down into the 60 degree area with some scattered showers but at least we're going to get those winds out of here and hopefully the fire as well. That's your nine-day planner. We'll be right back.